Good morning once again. I want to take this opportunity to be grateful to God on this day that he has allowed us to be here as animators of the young child in the church. And this is where I want to invite every one of us to take some time and be attentive, at least to learn something about yourself before you go to teach. Have you ever realized that sometimes we are in charge of a group that we don't know what to do with them? How I many of us have had challenges dealing with young children, wherever you are? Ni wangapi ambao kwa njia moja au nyingine tumekuwa na changamoto kufanya kazi na watoto katika kanisa au hata nyumbani. Wangapi tuko wazazi hapa? Ongereni, chipikieni makofi. Mswahili alisema hivi, kusaa si nini? Sio shida au sio kazi. Kazi ni nini? Hebu chipikieni makofi sababu mliamua kufanya hivyo. Leo hii basi wakati ambao tumeitwa kutafakari pamoja yale ambayo yanawahusu watoto ni vizuri kwa pamoja tuweze kuchifunza sisi kama viongozi au sisi kama wazazi ni kipi tunachokipaswa kukifahamu ili tunapowaendea watoto wetu tuweze kuwasaidia kwa njia ambayo inafaa kuhakikisha wameafikia malengo yao ya maisha ndoto zao za maisha Father Dennis alikuwa na shida na watoto Mi, kwa miaka mingi nilikataa kufanya kazi na watoto hadi mwaka chana nikawa nimeenda katika kongamano kama hili msemachi mmoja alisema hivi kwanza ukitaka kujua maisha ya kesho yatakuwa namna gani Angalia wale ambao wanao kusunguka. Niliwaangalia wote waliokuwa ananisunguka hiyo ilikuwa mwaka chana mwezi wa kumi. nikapata nilikuwa nafanya na kazi na watu wengi ambao ni wakongwe na wengine miaka katikati hapo. Kuangalia hivyo nikachiuliza maisha yangu ya kesho yatakuwa namna gani? Nikachukua changamoto nikarudi parokiani mwezi wa kumi na moja wote vile walifunga shule nilikaa na watoto parokiani wiki ya kwanza nilianza na watoto ishirini. baada ya wiki nne nilimaliza na watoto moja ishirini. kila siku nikawafundisha nikawasikiliza na baada ya kuwasikiliza nikapata ya kwamba walikuwa analia. Nikaketi chini chapter ya kwanza ya hiki kitabu nimeweka yale yote niliyasikia kwao. The cry of the young people. Baadaye nikawaongeresha. Nikawa naongeresha sio tu wazazi lakini watoto wenyewe na yeyote anaye nafasi ya kufanya kazi na kuwasaidia watoto. Na ndipo nilipopata mwaliko leo hii kuja kupata kutafakari pamoja nanyi kitu kimoja nafahamu mmepitia changamoto nyingi. Kweli uongo. Na kama uchapitia changamoto ongereni ni wangapi atachapitia changamoto katika utumishi wetu? Tumesikia hapo mwanzoni wengine wenu mkisema yara ambayo mmeyafanya. Ngoroia tuchaachwa nyuma. Au watoto ambao na mwalimu wao wanaigiza hiki kitabu. Kuanzia saa nne tuna shoot the play. Na kesho tumewalika wageni marafiki kuanzia saa nane paka saa kumi. one hour na ikiwezekana kwa wale ambao mtafika tutakuwa tunapeperusha moja kwa moja kwa mtandao 
au watoto wetu wakiigiza parokiani atulali kwa kuwa watoto au wale ambao ni wachanga ndio tegemeo la maisha yetu ya kesho ndio maana mimi na wewe ambao tumefika hapa tunapaswa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu hebu chukua dakika moja ujiulize mbona unapaswa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu andika ile swali why should i thank god that i am here today why should i thank god that i am here today ukiona waandike na kiingereza na Kiswahili na ile lugha unafahamu saidi sababu itakuwa kati yako na watu why mbona unataka kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa njia ya kipekee leo hii kile ninachokijua na ningependa wote tushirikiane ni ya kwamba wakati mwingi huwa tunakosea kuyafikia malengo yetu kwa sababu ya mtasamo ambao tunao kwa miaka mingi nilikuwa nafikiria watoto ni kazi ngumu kushirikiana na wao kuwalea you know hata kuwasaidia chochote kile lakini wakati niligeuza mtasamo wangu kwa hao watoto nikaangalia kila mtoto ana uwezo wa kukua na apite saidi ya matarajio yangu mimi nikakumbuka wakati nilikuwa mdogo kwa kweli sikuwa najua kama nitakuwa padri sikuwa najua mi hata watu wengi walishangaa nilimaliza form 4 nikaambia wazazi naenda na wale mnambao mnajua fast pawn wakati unaamua kuondoka mzazi anasikia namna gani Niliamka moja kwa moja nikamwambia unajua nini mi nataka kuondoka naenda kuwa mmisionari sio hata wa wachimbo na ilinichukua miaka ngapi tuhesabu Baka nikaomba chirani vidole zake nihesabu ili niweze kukamilisha miaka ya 11 years wewe ulichukua miaka ngapi kapora uchaamua kuolewa ama kuo uliza rafiki yako kapora ufanye uamuzi wa maisha ulichukua miaka ngapi nikwambie nini chinsi unavyoandaa kushughulikia ndoto yako ndivyo utakuwa tayari kuitimiza leo hii nimegundua hivi ndoto ya watoto wetu inaanza wakiwa wachanga wakati tunawaelezea wakati tunawaongeresha wakiwa wadogo watambue kile Mungu amekiweka ndani yao wana uwezo mkubwa mno miezi mbili iliyopita nikawa nimeenda kigangoni baada ya misa nikapata hiyo kichana mdogo akaniambia father nataka uje kwetu nikashangana mbona nialika niende kwao akaniambia baada nataka ukuje ubariki mama anaenda safari nikashangaa nikaenda pale sababu mama angeweza kufika baada ya kukaa na wao kwa muda akaona hiki kitabu kwa dakika 30 akaketi akachora venye kipo picha hii sasa hivi kitabu kingine tunasindua kesho huyo kichana wa form 2 ndiye amechora kafa ya hicho kitabu kichana huyo huyo alikuwa anafanya vitu zingine kidogo kidogo ambazo siri muwezesha kupokea shilingi mia saba kila siku ukienda kwa YouTube utamuona tumeweka hapo kwa hivyo tukiwaangalia watoto wana uwezo wa kutenda saidi kushinda matarajio yetu ndio maana nataka uulize ama uandike ile swali matarajio yapi unayo kwa watoto ambao unao waongoza what are the expectation of the kids you are working with 
Are you someone who believes in these kids? Unaamini ya kwamba hawa watoto wana uwezo wa kufanya mambo mengi zaidi? Basi ndio maana leo hii kwa pamoja tuwatafakari kuhusu kugeuza mtasamo wetu ili kuwasaidia wale ambao ni wadogo au wale ambao wanahitaji mwelekeo kutoka kwetu na anasema hivi unaweza kumsaidia tu mmoja tumsifu Yesu Kristo naomba tu ujitolee angalau uanze na mmoja sababu una uwezo ukianza na wengi hautaenda mbali yani ule ukipata mmoja ukimwelekeza akitambua wengi watachifunza kutoka kwa nani ndio maana siku hii ya leo nami nataka angalau niguze mmoja wenu ili akitoka hapa aende akiangalia hao watoto hata wakiwa na changamoto zao akumbuke ya kwamba wana uwezo wa kufanya nini wa kupadilisha maisha yao na kutimiza ndoto zao kwa hivyo sisi wote tuchukulie kuwa wazazi au walezi na walezi tunayo chukumu moja ama machukumu yetu ni makubwa mno tumesema kuzaa sio nini kulea ndio na waomba kanisa imewapatia hii nafasi ili kwa pamoja muwasaidie wazazi katika kazi yao ya malezi usichukulie tu umeletea hao watoto pale kanisani umepatiwa nafasi utembee na wao kama mzazi I've done it I'll do it if I tell you we have composed a song we are young ready to learn to lead our life to achieve our goals it is going around in fact this uh, weekend i'm connecting with one of my priest friend who is in samburu ahunganishe watoto wake wa dance hiyo song watutumie tuweke hiyo video kwa mtandao nilikuwa supuki last weekend tumefundisha wana youth hapo the whole day tukaenda St. Elmo Secondary School wameimba hiyo wimbo iko kwa mtandao wetu watoto wetu hapo parokiani wamecheza huo wimbo kwa ya yetu ndio iliwaimbia hiyo wimbo sasa hivi inasunguka we are young ready to learn to lead our lives to achieve our goals now do you believe that the children need to realize their dreams no andika hilo swali Unaamini ya kwamba hao watoto wanapaswa kuelekezwa ili ku, kufikia ndoto zao? If you don't believe it, you better go and do some other work. Kwa hivyo ni jukumu lako na mimi kuwawezesha hawa watoto ambao kanisa imetupatia, yani wewe umekuwa mama au baba katika kanisa na unachangia katika malezi Mungu amekupatia wengi kushinda wale wako Sasa ne, kuna wengi wetu tunakuwa na changamoto na watoto wetu nyumbani Kweli au si kweli Sasa wakati umekuwa na changamoto pale nyumbani unasema kwani mimi naenda kusaidia wa wengine na wangu wamekuwa nini Wacha nikuambie siri utakapojitolea hata uende ukasaidie wa jirani Chirani atachitokeza kuja kusaidia wako wako. Ni mkono unaopeana ndio unafanya nini? Wakati Mungu amekupatia nafasi na unakaa nayo unapoteza. Pili. Ni lazima tuwe na shukrani kwa kipaji cha watoto. We need to be grateful because of these children. Kwa kweli amwezi mkatarajia padri mwingine kama sio kutoka kwa watoto ama ni nyinyi mtaenda mkue mapadri na watao Kwa hivyo kanisa itafurahia kuwa na watawa watumishi wema kama nyinyi hata mimi mwenyewe Nani yako hapa ako catechist Nilikuwa sifahamu mengi mpaka nikaenda kwa mwalimu wa dini 
akanifundisha kwa kiruga nikashika yale niliyoyashika wakati ule na sasa hivi na wafundisha nyinyi kwa hivyo ukiwa na hao watoto wakati ule wa kuwachanga ndio tunapaswa kuwahimiza wayapokee maadili yaliyo mema tukumbuke hili wakati umeshindwa kuwa mzazi wa hao watoto kwa sababu ya changamoto au moja au nyingine ni vizuri uombe msaada wakati mnashirikiana wakati tunakucha pamoja vile umesikia kila parukia kuna ira wameanza kuingia kwa mtandao tafadhali tuchiunge hata mimi nikimaliza hapa nawaambia wote tuchiunge kwa mtandao wa caring listeners na hao wakiingia pale na hao wakitifunza pale wacha ni waidi ya kwamba mtapata mambo mengi kutoka kwao kwa hivyo tukumbuke na vile na nawaambia kulea au kufanya kazi na wale ambao ni wadogo malezi yao ni magumu malezi yao ni magumu lakini Mungu atawasaidia Mungu atawaelekeza Mungu atawaongezea kwa hiyo kazi ngumu nayo ifanya la nne tukumbuke hakuna yeyote atakaye mpa mtoto wako the best apart from you no one else who can give your child the best other than you naweza nikakucha kwako ninaweza kuja kwa parokia yenu lakini kama wewe utashirikishwa katika kuwaimiza katika kuwasaidia kukua haiwezekani kwa hivyo wewe iwe ni kwa nyumba kanisa inaanzia wapi ikiingia pale kigangoni au parukiani usipochangia wewe kama kiongozi wa watoto au watoto tutawapoteza ndio kuna uwezekano mzazi alemewe kuwalea pale nyumbani lakini wanapoingia kanisani tafadharini tukumbuke tumepatiwa hilo changamoto ndio maana inarudi kwetu kila wakati we should be at our best every time we should be now what does that mean you need to be at your best if you want to get it kila wakati tuhakikishe tunafanya nini we do our best usiwahi fanya kosa ukiwa mbele ya watoto useme na kufanya chambo ambalo hautataka kunukuliwa don't do anything before children that you not wish to be quoted for tusikilize sana basi leo hii tukumbuke hili a call to take the responsibility accompanying the young people as they chan- take their journey in life this father denis by the way who you hapa ni wapi eh baada ya kuwafundisha sio ngoroi baada ya kukaa na wao mwezi mmoja niliwachukua na nyuki this pipe on the ground for another four days retreat every holiday i take young people for retreat so hapa tumeenda tumeomba 
pipe on the ground. These are 70 young people from across the country. Hata kuna wenye wametoka western, huyo ni Father Dennis yako hapa hapa. Ukiwa na watoto unakaa? Wewe unakaanga acha ukiwa mbele ya watoto. Kwa hivyo tufahamu ni wito underline this word. Umeitwa kuwa mlezi wa nani? Wa watoto. Usirichukulie kimsaa au usichukulie hiyo kazi umepatiwa na kanisa kuwa sio ya maana. Tukumbuke kutoka kwa hao watoto tuwapata nini? Mapadri watawa wa Kristu na kira moja. Kwa hivyo wakati tunaangalia au tunayangazia maisha ya watoto John Dewi says this Partiality is as we have seen an accompaniment of the existence of interest since this means sharing partaking and taking side in some movement all the more reason therefore for an attitude of a mind which actively welcomes suggestions and relevant information from all sides wakati tuna fanya kazi na watoto tunatembea na wao usiwahi enda mbele yao wakufuate nyuma wakati mnatembea na watoto paraparani unapata mama magari yanapita hapa na ndio mtoto ameweka wapi na ukipiwa mtoto ama mtoto akikongwa kama njia ni magari yanapita hapa mtoto anapasa kwe mkono gani ili uweze kumuongoza ili kuhakikisha usalama wake akiwa upande utaona kila anacho kifanya na usitake kukaa kila wakati nyuma ya watoto watakuwa nafanya vituko ambavyo aujui kwa hivyo ukitaka kutembea na wao uwasaidie wafikie marengo yao akikisha unafanya nini wako kando yako sasa ili uwape nini kwanza ugeuze mtazamo wao kutoka kwa akiri unajua kuna watu wengine tumeweka kwa akiri mimi siwezani na watoto na ukafunga ukamaliza tumsifu Yesu Kristo na ikiingia kwa akiri wacha nikwambie hata ufanye nini kitakuchukua muda kapra uitoe lakini saidi wanahitaji nini mawazo na yara ambayo yanauhusu the information kuna mambo mengi yanafanyika wakiingia mtandaoni wanadhani watayapata yote aswa wale ambao mmeanza kupokea video za watoto tafadhali usiwahi weka video ya mtoto katika mtandao pira ruhusa ya wazazi sawa sawa mstuputu lazima muipate idhini ya mzazi ili na zikiingia watahatarisha ya kwamba sio kila mtu watatazama zile video na awachangamkie kuna wengine wana maono mabaya kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa mtandaoni pale hakikisha kila wakati unaangalia the comments zile mbaya siondoe kuachiri ya kuchunga maisha ya watoto sawa sawa basi tumekusha kusema hayo nataka tuweze kuporesha uhusiano kati ya mtoto na mzazi kumbuka kwanza chukua chukumu ya kuwa mzazi au mlezi. Sawa sawa? Kwanza tufahamiri watoto wanalia. Mtoto akilia 
Siku na, ana sababu. Aswa hao wadogo wakiwa mikononi mwenu. Utajua ataweza kawa mgonjwa au ana njaa au kuna chambo lingine. Kwa hivyo hakikisha wewe kama mzazi umepata kufahamu kile wanachodilia. Wanapaswa kufutwa hayo majonzi na wewe mwenyewe usichukulie hata wakicha kanisani sasa ingine waulize walilala namna gani maisha yao ya shule you know nyumbani wanaendelea aje siku moja nimeenda kusaidia watoto wengine shule moja na pale mtoto wa miaka sita kamsiana kadogo kaka nikuje akaniambia father naomba unisaidie kujua babangu ni nani tumsivye so kristo Mewai ulisa maswali kama hayo. Simuko na pahati nini? Sasa fadha angefanya nini? Na hayo maswali mimi na wewe tusipoyachibu. Huyo mtoto atatuamini. Na mbona amefikia kuuliza swali kama hilo? Na kama amekuuliza utapata ujaziri wa kwenda kumuongelesha mama ya huyu mtoto au akikwambia kingine anachokipitia Unaweza ukaenda ukamsaidia huyu mtoto? We have the responsibility to help these young children. Ya pili tukumbuke they are just innocent. Lakini shida ni watu wengi katika hiyo ari yao ya kutojua tumewadunisha Tumewakanganya. Tumefanya maisha yao yamechanganyikiwa. They are innocent and if you lead any of them to get lost, you will take responsibility. Yeah, you should take responsibility. Ili ya tatu tukumbuke Siata sisi kuna wakati mmoja tumekosea kama wazazi. Remember poor parenting. Wakati wamekosa mama baba nyumbani wakikukimbilia wewe chukumu la kwanza ni kufanya nini? Kuwasaidia. Tafadhalini kuwa wa kwanza kuwasaidia ili kuyafahamu yale ambayo wanahitaji. Tuko na vitengo vine hapa ya kuwa mzazi. Cha kwanza kuwa mzazi kwa kumzaa mtoto au wala ambao siku hizi unalipwa unapepea mtu nini? Mtoto. Kwa njia moja au nyingine kuna wale ambao washa saliwa kwa hali hiyo lakini wacha tuulize kama Mungu acha kupariki na mtoto kuna hata ya kuenda kufanya hii si ukupali tu ya tatu ni kuenda unatafuta mtoto umlee kama wako na kuambia hii ndio wengi wetu tutachipata lakini Yenye ambayo wengi wamechipata pira kufahamu ni gani? Ni gani? Si tumetasama runinga. Miezi imepita chache. Watoto wanaoenda shule ni wangapi wamepata mimba? Nani wameachiwa watoto? Sasa tukumbuke sisi ambao tumeachiwa watoto. Usiende kusema mbona akafanya hivi? ili alitasaidia mtoto amezaliwa au hajazaliwa wewe kama mzazi ni kipi ungesaidia huyo mtoto ni kutoa rawama basi wanakuitaji ndio tukumbuke ya kwamba mtoto mleavyo kuna uwezekano uweze kumsaidia mtoto ambaye umempata mahali kwa njia ambayo Siku moja atakucha aseme wewe ndio mamangu au wewe ndio babangu. Ni wangapi ambao 
tumeonekana kuwa baba au mama kwa watoto fran. Hakuna. Na mtawai fikiria tafadhalini tukumbuke hao. Kuna wengi wanahitaji msaada wetu. Kwa hivyo tujitahidi ili kwa pamoja tuweze kuwalea watoto chinzi tungependa sisi wenyewe waweze waweze kuyapokea yote Mwana Farisava moja akasema hivi Good character is not formed in a week or a month it is created little by little day by day protracted and patiently patient effort is needed wow hiyo ndio nimewaletea habari nje hata ikiwa ni wewe mwenyewe unataka kupadilisha mienendo ya maisha yako usikuje kanisani useme umepatizwa na kesho unataka kufanya nini na ndio maana ningependa kuwahimiza wakati tumesaidia watoto wamepata kupokelewa katika kanisa msiwaruhusu kupotea tutafute mbinu chinzi tutaendelea kuwalea ili wakomae katika imani yao wengine wetu tumefanya kazi na watoto wengi 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 lakini baada ya kupokea kipa imara wakaenda wapi ni wangapi tumekuwa god parents hapa kwa njia moja au nyingine Unawakumbuka wale watoto umesimamia? Ni wangapi wako fichwa ngumu mahali? Na wewe ndio? Na uliahidi ya kwamba umeahidi ya kwamba utawasaidia wazazi hawa kufanya nini? Na wakati hiyo tu ulitoka pale hata uchawai chua kwao ni wapi? Uchawai ulizamimamia mtoto ambaye uchii babake ni nani? Mamake ni nani? Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Na uko hapo? Na mtoto umleavyo? Adaraumu nani? Akikuwa mtu mkubwa akiambiwa asimamie mtoto mwingine, unadhani atakupari? Kwa sababu gani? Kwa hivyo tukumbuke tuwapaswa kuwasaidia hawa watoto kila siku, kila wakati ili waweze kufikia malengo yao. Kwa hivyo nambari ine tukumbuke watoto kulingana maumbile yao wanataka kucharibu kila kitu. When kids grow, hata sisi tukiwa watoto, tulikuwa tunataka kucharibu kila Sasa ubaya ni ule hata ikiwa ni mtandaoni Ukimwambia asiingie kwa mtandao utamsaidia. Mwambie ukienda hapo kuna uwezekano wa kupotea. Au ukienda pale hakikisha usiingie upande huu na ule. Ukiwa na marafiki chunga usiwe na marafiki ambao wanafanya nini? Wanafanya haya na yale. Kwa hivyo watoto kulingana na maumbile wanapaswa kujaribu na wasipofanya hiyo wakiwa watoto basi kuna zile vitu tunasema wengi wetu tulikuja kusifanya tukiwa watu wakubwa tumsifu Yesu Kristo Si kuna watu mnakaa na wanakaa kama watoto ama wanafanya mambo ya kitoto mpaka mnashangaa kwa na hiyo miaka yote nywele imeanza kuwa nyeupe na bado wanafanya nimeandika haya you can be 60 but you behave like an adolescent tumsifu Yesu Kristo who is an adolescent turn to your neighbor and ask who is an adolescent an adolescent especially there are three stages of adolescence the way i've said in my book ya kwanza ni ile the experience physical changes ya pili wanaanza ku create mahusiano relationship and that is the age men parents lose it that is the age usipokuwa rafiki wa mtoto wako mnakosana 
hiyo ni H ile ukiendelea kumnyoshea vidore rawama mnafanya nini you have to come down listen to them understand them for you to lead to lead them mimi nimefanya kazi na wao na waelewa na wananifundisha kila siku chinzi ya kuwasaidia that's why in this book i finish with the chapter 5 which says when you have known yourself you can lead your life when i give them the right information wakijaribu vyote nikiwaongoza nikiwa karibu na wao wanarudi kwangu wananiambia unajua father nilicharibu hii ikagonga mwamba namwambia okay mmoja ameandika chinzi rafiki yake alikataa kuwasikia wazazi akafuata wale wengine baadaye kwa pati mbaya akapata mimba alikuja kupata machuto wakati alikuwa nyumbani miezi tisa na baadaye akapoteza marafiki wote alirudi kuchifunza vivyo hivyo tukumbuke ya kwamba tuwape nafasi ni kazi ya watoto kuhakikisha yale ambayo wanayaona wayacharibu ili waweze kuhakikisha wanaufahamu unaopaswa la tano wazazi wanapaswa kusaidiwa Usiwahi taka kusaidia tu watoto bila kufuatilia maisha ya wazazi wao. Wakati tunawahimiza watoto, wakati tunawafundisha kanisani, wakati tunaona upungufu wao, ni lazima sisi kama walezi tuwafuatilie, tuhakikishe kuna mahusiano mema kati ya mtoto na mzazi. Na tukiwa huyo mzazi amepungukiwa, mimi na wewe tunapaswa kuwa wa kwanza kuwasaidia na ndio maana la sita tunasema we create understanding by the way you can never understand me if you don't accept me angalia jirani yako mwambie uwezi ukanifahamu uwezi ukanifahamu angalia jirani yako mwa Uwezi ukanifahamu Yes Hata ikiwa ni maisha ya ndoa Ukiwa na bwana akaona kichwa kidogo au kikubwa Ukiwa tu unaangalia mtu unaona makosa Ukiingia kanisani kila mwalimu unashirikiana na yeye ajui wewe ndio unajua kuna watu wengine tumeumbwa yani njia nyingine ya ajabu ajabu wewe Mungu lakini sio Mungu hiyo wewe ndio umechuwekea chenje tu unaona ni upungufu wa watu na unachidai wewe ndio kiongozi wao we need to create understanding you can only create understanding that doesn't focus on perfection can i tell you one thing If you think that you are at your best today you have refused to grow. Ambia jirani yako hivyo. Ukifikiria ya kwamba umeitimu, umefika mahali unataka kufikia, umefanya nini? Umekosea. Kama umekosea, usiwahi kosesha watoto. Kwa kufikiria ya kwamba where they are today that is their best. No. I believe this every day is an opportunity to grow. Kila siku ni nafasi ambayo tumepatiwa kufanya nini? Ndio ya saba ponding. Ponding. Hakikisha mnaisaidia watoto kuwa na mahusiano mema kanisani. Mbona you know Umewahi ona watoto wakifika miaka fulani wakianza kuingia na vikundi zingine unapata sitaki kusema in any case one of us maybe eti mlienda party party after 
na ukatoa bwana hapo tumsivi Yesu Kristo ni wangapi tumetolewa kwa pati ama rorasho na ile ingine mlikuwa ni gani ama matanga mbona tusitahidi ili ukiona watoto ambao umefundisha kwa wakati fulani wao wameoana inawezekana utakuwa umefurahia kwani kuna shida gani lakini sababu watu wafunzi waelewe urafiki unamaanisha nini they don't pond they don't pond okay they don't so we need ponding by the way hata nyinyi wenyewe muwe mnafanya kazi popote pale tukumbuke you can never never get it right if you don't have mahusiano mema iwe ni ya kina mama kwa shirika kwa kichichi you know we need this we need this ponding ndio namba ya nane, tuweze kuwa committed like now you said you are from how many parishes 13 how committed are you for one thing and what are you committed to kama viongozi wa watoto what is your motto eh angalia juu na muniambie kama viongozi wa watoto ni kipi ama rengo lenu ni lipi eh hata kuna watu wengine mmepatana hapa mara ya kwanza tumsivi Yesu Kristo na mnatoka the neighboring parishes na mnajiita uh, viongozi wa what are we committed to when we become parents or guardians it's beyond a profession hakuna profession by the way inafikia parenting ndio akina mama mkumbuke hivi wakati unaacha kulea watoto wako unaenda kufanya kazi unapata watoto wameharibiwa alafu unakuja kuraumu nani ulipenda pesa ukaacha nini a god given gift mtoto mleavyo yeah there is no otherwise there is no otherwise so just realize that we need we need to make sure that we are up to do the right thing and in the right way 10 uh, 9 sorry we need to take courage in guiding our children why kuna mambo ma, makubwa makubwa anayofanya yana katisha tamaa ya kuwasaidia. Yaani kuna yule ambayo umemsaidia kwa miaka unatarajia afanye lile ambalo umemfundisha lakini kwa pati mbaya anapungukiwa. We need to take the courage. When they are on their lowest, when they cannot add up, wakati wamechanganyikiwa, that is when they need you and me. And if that is true, the number 10 never give up. Never do what? You only need to give up when you have given. Look, mchamaa alikuwa anachimba akitafuta chenye alikuwa anatafuta. Amepakisha tu mali kidogo. He gave up. Hata umenisaidia sielewi that point you are about to give up there will be a breakthrough and that's why i will encourage you never give up keep sacrificing keep giving your best and for sure you will find it right so a word of encouragement now respond to your child with love in the worst moments They are broken moments. They are angry moments. They are selfish moments. They are lonely moments. They are frustrating moments. They are inconvenient moments because 
it is in their most unlovable human moment that they most need to feel loved. Not says that. Yeah. Awange taka kuwa na mzazi au mlezi iwapo wao ni wazazi. No. They need you when they cannot adapt. Look at somebody next to you and tell them that. Tunahitaji kusaidiwa wakati tumefanya nini? Wakati tumefanya nini? Aya. Maswali kwenu. Swali la kwanza linasema nini hapo juu? Eh hey, bua soma kwa sauti. Eh uh, ulisa angalia mwenye mmeketi na yeye. Remember kwa wale ambao umechelewa kwa wale ambao umechelewa tumesema nini? We is a parent. We is a parent. Anyone who is in charge of those who are under age. You can be a parochial parent who may adapt, you know, as far as do you know why do we talk about god parents? Tukimaliza ali ya miaka 18 tunaingia maisha ya kiroho unakuwa mzazi wa mtu miaka yake yo And that's why you should not take for granted kusimamia mtoto wao mwenyewe Ka- kama uko tayari inua mikono juu swali la pili don't ask me 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 look at her how is your relationship with it? can i tell you i have 3800 children spiritual children every day like today I've, who has received my message nani anapokea message inaisha na the word peace kwa hivyo watu wote you are disconnected from me <laughs> how, how i pray uh, anyone from kachiado 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 parish kachiado parish i am connected with those young people there father linyard their group the other week we were with the, the youth from gong dinari I have 3800 contacts on WhatsApp. Kila siku naamka natuma my reflections. I have done it for the last four years. Feeding my spiritual children and every day they are adding up. Au ni wa WhatsApp niko namba zao za simu. Achana wenye wanafuata kwa Facebook na YouTube. Kwa uko na wangapi? Mungu amekuchalia wawili lakini wanakupatia shida. Kwa sababu gani? Hauna ule Hauna ule moyo wa kujitokeza kuwasaidia. So the fourth, uh, third question is what? What have you not? And write the word not. Katika uziano wako na hawa watoto Unaweza ukashuhudia ya kwamba umefanya yote sawa? What have you, umeandika hiyo swali na umeandaline uende ukifika baada hii wakati tunaenda kwa kimya chiulize hiyo maswali. Na ya nne What are you going to do? How many of us will go before those kids that we have messed up or charged in one way or the other and you ask for forgiveness? Unaona venye tunakaa. Uombe msamao kwa mtoto. Yaani unataka wajifunze kwa nani? Wewe ni wangapi tunaambia watoto tufike kanisani saa mbili unakuja saa tano? Ni wangapi? I just want to leave you there and give you some few minutes of reflection. You will come and tell me what you have thought.
What do you think? Any question before? I'm done. If you want to know I'm done, I'm done. Swali, do you think that you are a parent? All that, by the way, is on chapter 2 of this book. Chapter 2 of this book is about change your perception for you to help the young people. T tell the, somebody next to you, change your perception. Change your perception. Muambie, muambie. Padirisha mtasamo wako, ili weze kumsaidia nani? Kama amuna swali, let us stretch for five minutes. Come back.